G'day family. Hi everyone. How is everyone going? Um, we thought we'd check in today and um, do a bit of a raw and uncut video. Yeah, we, we like to um, rotate uh -oh. our videos um, between our sort of montage update on what we're doing. Um, yeah. Places we've been to videos and then With a little bit of a talky, talky oh, chat one. Yeah, no. and then we'd like to do a bit of a, a raw and uncut one. Um, keeping it keeping it real as, as we always try and do. Um, and update you on sort of a few things that are, have been getting to us a little bit. Um, since, since living on the road now, we're, we're sort of two between two and three months almost now on the road. Bye. Uh, and yeah, I think there's a couple of things that we just wanted to have a yarn about. Um, yeah. Yeah, so um, obviously being on the road for a little bit now, you can sort of, we've, we've done the whole how did we go for the first month or so, but now I guess there's a few key things that have sort of happened that kind of makes us um, have a think about or, or realise that we're sort of not struggling with, struggling's not the right word. Um, I think one of them we're struggling with, 100%. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. And, and um, we'll use that as a segue into that topic. So I think the biggest thing that I guess we're struggling with as life on the road, um, and as many videos as you watch and as, as much as you actually see the, the caravans and the camper vans and the people traveling on the road, yeah. you don't actually realize how many people are, are on, on the road. The road yeah until you go to a free camp or you go to uh, a low cost camp or you try to get into a camp and it's it's chockers like it's completely yeah, mind chockers. you we are doing this part so south australia to western australia at the key time to do it right so oh yeah we, are, we understand that theory there's a lot of people we're on that nomad that nomad path at yes, the moment so but it's surprising so when you're living in one spot you may see a lot of caravans and stuff come around and you're like oh yeah there's a few on the road or you might just travel from a to b and you see a few when you're on the road in every camp you see how many pull in and go out and then every camp as well you might go visit three four camps in a day and how many vans are in those three four camps that day uh, plus everything else around uh -huh. so yeah, it's definitely definitely an interesting one, that's for sure. Yeah, look, and by by no means is it um, putting a damper on our travels. Like we we are absolutely loving this lifestyle still. It suits us to a T. I guess the biggest um, biggest thing we need to adapt to is being more weary of booking your head a little bit more at certain times rather and than certain places yeah rather yeah. than and being, keeping an eye on long weekends and school holidays yeah because we're just we're very off with the fairies in that sense we just go with the flow um we hear about somewhere we're like yep let's check that out or we hear about um yeah i don't know other campers going places so yeah we just are very gone with the flow so it's it's changing that now to be like all right it's Easter. <laughs> it's Easter at the same yeah. time every year, but we honestly didn't think about didn't it. Really, even think about that. And then, even though we've got a little one, she's obviously not at school yet. It's school holidays just after Easter, so um, trying to work out what we're doing in the next. Yeah, week, correct. So. so we will definitely hit up those free camps a little bit more. Yeah. Um, it's been interesting, that's for sure. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, mate, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, very, treat. Very kind. Okay. Um, so yeah. This place is cool. Oh yeah, so we're, so we're st currently staying um, at a place called Grass Fields? Grass Patch. Grass Patch. So it's between Norseman and Esperance in WA. So we're in S we're in WA. Yeah. Um, um, as you would have seen if you've seen our Facebook and stuff. This so. place is yeah, look it's it's a little community caravan park, but it's well kept. The guy that runs it is an absolute gem. Um, you've got clean amenities, free washing machine, one washing machine. And it's close to where we went to yesterday which you've seen if you're following us on facebook you would have seen um went and visited mount ridley with uh, and a wave rock so mm. yeah um so yeah it's a really good place anyway i don't want to get off yeah, topic this is too much something else but pretty much um, so, so something we 
in in total struggling with is how many people are on the road and how busy yes. can it so how busy and it is, it is in particular yeah. in the really good camps um it's very hard to just rock up and get lucky to get a spot or you, they're packed in if it's a free camp and there's yeah. no set location so, so putting putting um a bit more time into yeah having backups um which we were kind of doing a little bit um when we're it in was SA. really hard on the air peninsula because we had the long weekend and stuff and there was a lot of really nice beach camps there and stuff but they're always they're always Mama, full Mama, um Dada, and then we know going into estrants and, and along the bottom coast is going to be the same deal it's going to be busy um so we're actually considering changing our plans but we're not 100 percent sure yeah yet, we'll, so. we'll work on that we are we've got a few nights in esperance coming up um we've got a a few nights we're about to do off grid again um and i guess i think working part and parcel with um yeah not liking how busy it is but then obviously choosing to go on this path of that uh, nomadic path i guess it's going to be interesting to see when we because we're heading to perth and then heading back to wallaroo in the york peninsula how busy it is on the way back and then um we're actually going to be going east. east after that which is completely off the map of what the nomads are doing so it'll be interesting to see how busy it is then um, yeah. look we like people but when you can <laughs> sometimes you don't want people around you all the time oh we, lo um, we, we like our space like check their well we had how well we had our little hobby hobby farm um we lived you know in with no neighbors we had no neighbors we had two and a half acres you know goats chickens and we had no neighbors so we had all the free space we wanted um and i so it's adapting we're adapting um like we're loving it we're, and we're, we're you know you're starting to open up because we're um introverts for the most part um so we're, we're starting to open up a little bit more with this lifestyle which is really really good um i think this is actually a really good segue that leads into to the next thing the next topic we kind of wanted to have a chat about and that was slowing down so when we were in um south australia we for the most part were really just cruising like and that was that was good but at the same time we kind of wanted to get out of sa and hit, hit western australia so, yeah it was kind of an so we would slow we could have probably done it slower um but we wanted to get to wa as well so there was kind of sometimes there was an urgency in particular when we started to get towards the end of sa yeah yeah um just before the nullarbor we kind of quickened up a lot and then over the nullarbor because we were very unsure how we'd go with resources and stuff yeah, like that correct. as well so it's still getting to know our, our setup even though we'd spent probably almost like two months in sa on, on like this massive shakedown trip um because you, you're in a comfortable environment even though you're going to places you might not have been to in your own state you still feel like you're at home like it's, you still you've still got those sa number plates and you, you know you're still you're still a local even though you're and a then tourist and the thing in sa as well the towns are quite close where we where we did the air peninsula there's quite a lot of towns quite a lot of dump points quite a lot of water fields um so you kind of were comfortable no matter where you were it wasn't far to get mm. those things whereas once you hit the nullarbor it's few and far between but it's um, good though like we've loved it um you know starting to push to push our setup and starting mm. to push what we're capable of and that's what life's all about right is just that's how we live our lives just doing it and, and learning on the go you know we, we listen to people uh, listen to advice um but we obviously still um get out there and learn it all for ourselves um so it's been it's been good now we've just started to we've, we've just booked another Thank night you. where we're staying now um and yeah we're about to mm -hmm kick back and just spend an extra night here which is good. yeah here and then next place we're actually going to spend three days at just a free camp yeah that's, completely off grid that's um, just it's not a it's super nothing special one or nah. anything like that but it's just out in the bush it's just going to be nice to sort of just chill yeah it's got space like a space for the dog to the run, to and, run and, and then Harper and and to explore us to explore, and us to do yeah. things with so it'll keep us busy enough but it will be it'll be good to start slowing down so yeah we're just going to start doing two to three nights and possibly even four nights um we also noticed as soon as we started moving quicker our budget blew out a little bit more but that's a whole nother time yeah budget oh because you, you we were driving a lot more so fuel yeah, costs were going through the roof um not not so much we're not so much worried about 
what fuel cost we got last year, just completely how much we were, we were driving, and not just with the Nulla bore, we were, we were, yeah, just sort of yeah. no, no, needed no, to kick back a little bit and take our time, explore um, the area we're in, um, like we're doing now. So, and yeah. I think, I think and the individual camps too. Like we generally rock up and we do things most days. Um, there's been a few times that we noticed we need to slow down and just have a day to break. Uh, and yeah, I think we're getting to that point again where we were like, you know what, we, we need to stop forgetting that we need just days we don't go out. Just chill, yeah. Out of the car. We, we lost it a bit because we were on a, you just wanted to keep moving. I think we just wanted to get to WA so much. We wanted to get so to WA, much. yeah. Um, so we just kept moving, 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 moving. Um, but, we're, but we're here in WA now, so recognised. And we're now going to just yeah kick back and take our time a little bit Again, more with the yeah. whole thing, yeah. Um, so on on the space note, um, we wanted to also just touch base on we've obviously got um, Harper, uh, our daughter, and then we've also got our dog Lover uh, that we um, is travelling with us. Yeah. So talking about being in the car a lot, um, we've noticed a couple of things. Uh, actually Harper's a trooper with traveling she's really good actually um, touch wood she stays like that but she was pretty good for the most part however we hit our first big hurdle well what did I say big hurdle with Loba oh it's not a big hurdle it like wasn't... she's had a she's had a change right she's, she's gone from living on a next big two and a half acres she's starting to do really well yeah two and a half acres of like property where she could just run around she would go run with the goats chasing mice and rats or whatever, watching the chickens and the cat, um, to now being stuck in a in a car for like long distances. Um, she gets Which a lot of- Which is usually a pretty good yeah, car traveler. And she gets a lot of run time, right? So she plays all the time, frisbee, ball. Like she gets a lot of time um, to exercise. She's a Kelpie cross, so she, she needs it to stimulate her mind. What do you say? Um, but she was sort of starting to get a bit um, anxious, I guess you could say anxiety, whatever, which she got better with. Yeah, so I don't know if we touched on it in the last video much, but um, yeah, she really flared up with just stressing out when we moved to camps, because uh, it was very near, she'd get comfortable in a place and then we'd move and she started to struggle with that. Mm. However, that's kind of become norm now, so she's a lot better yeah. with moving from camp to camp. She's not struggling like that anymore. But then when we traveled and we hit WA. Oh yeah, so in, in WA, for those that don't know, when you cross the border for the first, I don't know how many Ks, every so often there are cattle grates mm -hmm. on the road. And for whatever reason, that just stirs her. So like you go over her and like she'd, it. she'd be asleep and she would jump up and she would start to freak out and yeah. then she'd sort of settle a little bit. This was the first one. And then we went over another oh, one. And she'd jump up again and then like three into it. <laughs> You stuck three into it. She started to um, full on freak out. And I'm, I'm talking like she would not calm down. She was panting, she was drooling, she was struggling to relax. She was turning her face in the back of the chair. Even going over small bumps, which she normally has no problems, was, was freaking her out. So we were like, what were we gonna do? We were in the middle of the null, like middle of that big stretch before we got mm. to Norseman. Um, yeah, it was just it was before we, yeah, yeah. Could really do much. So we didn't know what to do. So we stopped obviously, camped for the night and we thought maybe she'd be better, be better the next day. Jumped in the car, she was fine for the first five, 10 minutes and then it started again. And we hadn't even gone over a grid. She just started freaking out again. Mm. Um, it's not good seeing your dog like that. Um, because it's one, it's not normal and two, it's obviously not good for her. But we really struggled with it. So we tried to work out what we sort of would do. So what we ended up doing for that last stretch, do you want to talk about it? You no, you can, you can. That last stretch, we um, we just stopped literally every 40 minutes to an hour. Stopped, mm. got her out, gave her a run, gave her a drink. There's people rocking up, so it's probably gonna be a bit loud. Um, so we stopped every so often just to give her that break and give her a good run. Um, it didn't fix it, but definitely, because she was so tired, she calmed down a lot more. And then as we went further and further without going over a big bridge, she sort of started to settle. We stopped again for the, another night. Um, and then, yeah, the next day we were wondering how she was gonna be. And she just sort of, since then, has just sort of gone back to normal. Yeah, back to, yeah, it's like, I don't know what it was. It was just running over those cattle grids. Really freaked really her out. Really startled and, yeah, was not sure about what was going on. Um, 
but yeah it's back to normal now but it was it was quite not distressing because you don't like seeing your dog um unsettled but yeah it was it was we also didn't know what to do initially correct. because it was something we hadn't really experienced mm. with her um so yeah it wasn't wasn't great but she's sort of back to normal now so until we go over another grid i guess we'll see mm, yeah correct so yeah um, we've stopped to today we're not going in the car at all and i think over the next I think that's gonna, couple I think, I think, week or two we're going to be only going short distances and then also not going in the car too much I so think, i think stopping and just slowing down is going to help her as well um I think it's going to help water loss because we're, 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 it's exhausting. It's funny, people are like, oh, you're, you're, not, you're not working, you're not doing this, you're not doing that. Um, when you're packing up and moving every day, though, after one night's day, exhausting. it's exhausting. But oh, we love it because we love routine at the same time. So. Yeah. So, yeah, so just a bit of a bit of a recap. Oh, you're up down. Surprised by how busy it is on the road. Yeah, so a couple struggles we've dealt with. Yeah. Um, we wanted to share. Um, yeah. For people that may be doing it, may have just started, may thinking about it, that might, you know. Just be mindful of it. It, it is very Maybe busy on the road. Yeah. Um, again, we're still new at it. So people it's, say there's a lot of people on the road, but I, you don't realise. Nah, how much. and we kind of expected it, but didn't expect it at the same time. Um, I expect how busy. Not at every um, camp. Yeah, correct. So now we've, we're, we're still absolutely loving the lifestyle. Um, definitely us, but it's, it's making us reevaluate how we're doing it and, and just a bit of a like, hey, guess what? Slow down. Working out our style. So people travel Everyone's in different. their own way. Yeah. Um, people might enjoy only staying overnight one one place in lots of different places so they can, you know, see lots of different mm. things in a very short period. Other people like us want to slow down because you've got the dog and you've got the kid and explore and really, you know, see the places like, you know, and, and explore the surroundings. So yeah, I hope that, I don't know, was interesting for people and, and um, yeah. my like, by, by, help. By no means like, we're trying to make it like it's bad or anything. Like, it, nah. like the lifestyle, it's not gonna suit everyone, 100%, but it suits us to a T. Mm. We just, I think, got caught up in the, caught up in the like, we've got to keep moving, we've got to keep moving. And we don't need to keep moving. Like we have no time. Limit, no, we so don't. Apart from being having to be back in Wallaroo in July for, for my MS treatment, which we've already said, if we, for example, we didn't make it to Perth, which yeah, I think we will, that's fine. We're happy. You know, whatever. We'll we'll see it another time. So yeah. we'll come back. So it's um, it's been it's been great. It's been a great learning learning experience. But, um, well, yeah, we just thought we'd share our perspective on it all, and um, we'll get back to. Sight, sightseeing in the next in the next video um but yeah any questions by all means fire awesome. away and you know if you, even if you have a bit of advice yourself feel I'd free to that. impart it on us because we're you know always happy to take advice on your experiences on, on the road um, <laughs> what do you say and yeah let's, hopefully we'll bump into some of you guys along along our travels and yeah. have a yarn sit down and have a yarn but well, we better wrap it up. Yeah, get loud. Yeah, very busy. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank See you. Ya. See Thank you later. You.